everyone, I'll bar here. I got it out of the oven and it tastes really good. There it is. There's, I had a lot of pepper on it and stuff, so that's where it came in. But um, anyways, here's the calorie count. It makes eight half cup servings and calories is 162.62, carbs is 28.31, fat is zero, and protein is 4.81. You know, always hold your head high, realize that you're important, realize that, hey, look, if I could do this and, you know, be gorgeous and everything, so can you. It's just about loving yourself, putting yourself number one and working out. And don't care what other people think, you know, people are always going to be jealous. I've always had it because I've always been pretty uh, with my looks and stuff. I've, people have always been jealous of me. But that's okay. You know, because I'm this person inside and out. And uh, last night, everybody told me I looked gorgeous. They couldn't believe how dressed up I was and everything. And it was just the greatest feeling. And for me, that's a great accomplishment because it's been a long journey. And this is a journey that I have to do for the rest of my life. Do I mind it? No, I love it. Because you know why? I'm this person and I deserve that. And to wear something like this in the gym, I could, but because I do powerlifting, I don't. That's all I really love in the gym. I love my powerlifting. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I powerlift, and that's the fun thing I like about my deadlifts. Squatting, eh, not so much, but I have to squat two times now this week, and I'm not going to like that too much. So, But, yeah, and to do what I do, knowing that these are mediums and stuff, hey, that's awesome because I earned that right, and I feel that I, you know, my when I first started, People don't understand, when I first started, it was hard, okay? Here I am in another city, you know, and everything, by myself, you know, no, nobody around. State and stuff, you know, state and that, and uh, then I realized, you know, like, I couldn't get the weight off, so I thought maybe a trainer. Well, then when I did decide to do the trainer, I was like, wow, you know, this is what it was about, and it was about me, and then I thought, you know, maybe I can, do I wasn't sure if I was going to make it, man, that, it was hard. Then, when I started to finally get the weight off, you know, I would get pissed because I'd have to sit up, sit down, just stupid shit. But they told me, they said, hey, you know, you're too fat. Or they would tell me I'm too heavy, and I'd say, okay, you know. But really, I was just too fat. And because I was too fat, because I wore a two-piece bathing suit in the summertime, which is great. And it was like, wow. You know, maybe I did. Well, the first two years were hard. I used to come home and cry. I used to just say why the hell did I leave myself go why did I do this to myself you know why and why did I let myself go you know why did I do this why did I do that so then I was like okay I gotta figure this out I gotta figure all this out well I finally did and then I uh, when I got into the at the end of 19 it was starting to get a little easier but not much then in 20 well 19 we changed gyms again so then in 20 we were already a private gym, but then we went to another private gym and that one thing. So it was like, oh, okay. So it was like, okay, how do we do this? So that's what I did. And I was like, you know what? I can do this. And I did. But people really, really need to realize that I did this for me. There was nobody around to say, oh, you know, this or whatever. I know. I did this for me because I seen everybody that used to stare at me and how everybody picked on me and how everybody in my whole life is since I've had to air my dirty laundry out for the last two weeks thanks to some dumb dumb and uh, stuff but that's okay because you know what I'm not gonna have my show ruined I'm not gonna have my book sales ruined because I earned this other people are out there doing it too and you know what it's hard I see all these ever since COVID people are so overweight it's not even funny and the problem that I see with most people they don't realize Every day, I've got to count the carbs and the fats and the proteins. Every day, I got to get on that scale. Um, every day, I got to watch and monitor everything that I eat. You know, that's not just a one day thing or you know whatever. This is a part of my life and the journey that I have. So it's like this is what people got to understand. You know, if I dated tomorrow, whoever I'm with has to understand that. Hey, I get up in the morning. I sweep my floors, I do my cat box, I wipe all my counters down, um, I uh, give the cat fresh water, you know, I sweep, and I go upstairs and sweep, and then on Thursdays I come home, I sweep and mop and do my toilets, and that's it, so I do my bathrooms, you know, uh, and I get up every day, you know, at a certain time, 
and between five and seven, depending on which day it is, you know, or maybe nine o'clock or whatever. You know, that's part of my life. That's my life routine. Um, I, you know, I measure my food. I take the measuring cup and measure it out. You know, that's how I eat, live, and that's how I eat. And I did this for years when I was a kid. And then I, as I got older, people says, oh, you don't have to wear it. No, the weight does make a difference because weight can hinder you and put you in a lot of positions. And people think that you want to lie and, and, and say, oh, I don't do this. No, I do do this because every morning I get up and if I gain that one pound, I have to get that one pound off tomorrow. You know, I can't just fluctuate. Now it's the point I've got to keep that weight off. I've already been told I can't gain it back. If I gain it back, uh, guess what? I'm dead. So... You have to really focus on yourself, and I did. It wasn't about anything else, nothing. Nobody owns my rights to my book or my show. I do. I own everything. I own the copyrights. Second, I did this for me. Nobody else. I did this for me. Why did I do this for me? Because I knew that inside of me was this beautiful woman and this gorgeous girl who used to model for John Casablancas, who's the same size now as a petite mom, but I used to do plus. Do you know, that's a good feeling, and it's been six years. Six years I've kept this weight off. To me, that's an accomplishment, because most of the time, when you work out, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's how it does, and my pants are falling down. Because sometimes my pants are a little too big, but that's okay, because they shrink. I'm hoping that they'll shrink a little bit when I put them in the dryer um, and stuff, because... I'm right in between sizes. Um, if I do a 9 West, I'm a size 12 in jeans. Now, if I do Vera, Wing, Vera Wang's jeans, uh, skinny jeans, I'm a size 10. It just depends on the make and the brand and where they're made. you know. But right now, um, I'm at between a 10 and 12 in pants, and that's why I want to be underwear. I'm a size 6. I'm only a 38 up here. I was a 44 double D. I love my life now. I love my body. you know. And, and to me... People think this is just a joke. It's not a joke. This is a way of living, and you have to really, really do that. And somebody says, oh, you can do it. You know, it's been a hard journey for me, and this is a journey that I'll be on for the rest of my life. And if I ever do get somebody to love me, they're going to have to love me for who I am today, and they're also going to have to love me for what I have to do every day. And if they can't, then it's not meant to be. And right now, I'm on my journey. You know, I'm on my journey with my life, you know, uh, I've got a good life now. I don't have the drama. I got rid of the drama as of last week, but the war ain't over because when I strike, the war's gonna end because I'm the queen and I'm, I'm the goddess and I will smack them down. And when I'm done, I'm done. But yeah, it, it's it's been a wonderful journey for where I'm at today. When I went to buy clothes yesterday, the other day, it was something I thought I'd never be able to do. And to go in and get that, that uh, those medium clothes and those mediums, you know, tops and stuff. It's been a wonderful journey for me. And it's just going to be a wonderful life for me, you know. I'm not going to have to struggle anymore. And eventually all I'm going to be doing is just my books and my show. That's it. And have a good life and have a stress-free life, you know. Um, and live life. Enjoy life instead of always having to work. I've built this this show from the ground up, and you think I'm gonna let somebody take it? No, I already contacted lawyers yesterday, and I have papers ready to go. If they keep mouthing off, they will be served with papers, and I don't care if I get nothing, which I won't, because they don't have anything. But it'll be the principal. You will be shut down, and I don't care, because this is my show, my journey, and my story. I own it. It has nothing to do with anybody else. And I hold my head high now. And I'm not afraid to tell anybody. I'm not afraid to stick up for myself. Because I have self-confidence now. High self-esteem. And I know I'm a beautiful person. I know I'm pretty. But you know what? I worked hard for that. And I love myself. Always, always love yourself. Put God and the angels in your life. Get out there, work out, count those carbs. But calories, fats, and proteins, and see the results, and see how much better you'll feel. See how much better you'll hold your head high when you go in that store and you can buy that small outfit that you want, or that designer dress that you know designers, when you start getting into Nine West and Vera Wang and Calvin Klein, they don't make it for plus people. They, they Pretty much I was fat for fat people like me. When I was fat, 
I could never get into the designer. I always wore Vera Wang designer clothes, uh, Liz Claiborne, Paul Harris, uh, Cashmere, um, Nine West, but Nine West has always been my favorite, and I got Nine West back. So it's like, yeah. And Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein's one of them, too. Calvin Klein and Nine West are, and Ralph Lauren are my favorite designers, and I can get back into those clothes. And to me, that's all I care. That's For me, that's what I wanted. I wanted my designer clothes back, and I can get into them again. See you soon. Keep God and the angels in your life, and hold your head high, and and get those get out there and get that weight off because you know you can do it. You gotta love yourself and put yourself number one. Bye.